Hey there, Louis Acabalis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make files that are stored in a team read only. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now before we look at how you can make files and folders that are stored in a team read only, we'll start by doing a very quick recap of the permissions that exist in Microsoft Teams. Now in Microsoft Teams, there are really two primary roles. There are team owners and team members. Now the major differences between these two permission sets or roles is that owners can manage things like user access. So you can see here that they have the ability to add or remove members. They can also change the settings for teams, including permissions for channels, tabs, and connectors. They can edit and delete the team, etc. Now, when it comes to permissions over files that are stored in teams, you'll notice this note that says file permissions for members and guests reflect whatever your admin has set in your SharePoint settings. Now, by default, permissions for files that are stored in a team allow both members and owners to create files, edit files, delete them, etc. Now, what we're going to look at in this tutorial is how you can make a file that is stored in Teams or a folder that is stored in Teams read only to users other than owners. So we're going to look at how you can make files and folders in a team read only for team members. Now let's go ahead and let's check that out. All right, now you can see here that I have a team called Project X and currently there are only two users in this team, myself who is an owner and my colleague Diego who is a member. Now in order to set a file or folder as read only for team members, you wanna to navigate to the channel of the team where the files or the folders are stored. And then you wanna go ahead and click on the files tab. Next, you wanna go ahead and click on the three dots here. And you want to click on open in SharePoint. Now this is going to take you into the SharePoint back end where these files are actually stored. Now I'll start by making this project charter Word document read only. Now to do that, you want to place your cursor on the row for a specific document and you wanna click on the show actions. Next, you wanna click on manage access. And that is going to bring up this menu here that allows you to customize the permissions or access for this specific file. Now you'll see here that the file is currently accessible and editable by project X that is the team owners group. You can see here that it is also accessible and editable by the Project X members. And you can see here that the visitors permission group can only view this file or it's read only for that specific group. Now, in order to set this file as read only for all users except for owners, you want to click on the little drop down here to the right of the members group, and you want to set this to can view. So you can see here this option says cannot make changes. And once I've selected that, you can see here that the members group has the same icon. It is the pencil with the line through it, meaning that their permission for this specific file is read only. Now, once you've done that, you can just close out of this menu and you've now made that file read only for members. Now to demonstrate that that actually worked and that the one member of this team cannot edit that file, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into Microsoft Teams and impersonate my colleague Diego, and then I'm gonna show you what that looks like when he tries to access that file. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've logged into Teams as my colleague Diego. Now I'll go ahead and click on the files tab of that team and you can see here the project documents folder and that project charter document. And you'll also see the icon that says that I can only view this file here. You can see as I hover my cursor over it, it says read only. And if I try to click into this file again, as I impersonate my colleague Diego, you're going to see that I cannot edit this file. 
Now you'll also notice that the button that says open in desktop app is grayed out. Now, if I click this, it will allow me to edit this file. And that's just because my Microsoft Word desktop application is signed in with a different account. If I was signed in to my Microsoft Word desktop app, again, impersonating Diego, it would operate the exact same in that I would not be able to edit this file. Now, another important note, when you do make files read only, that is also going to restrict users from seeing changes that are being made to the file in real time. So you can see here that the project charter Word doc does not have any text in it. And what I can show you here is that I've actually opened this file in my Microsoft Teams desktop application using my account, my owner permissions, and I'm typing in this file. And those changes, again, are not being displayed in real time to Diego. Now, if I close out of this file, and then I close out of this file again while I'm impersonating my colleague and I click back into it, then the changes become visible. So when you make files read only, you're going to lose that ability for your members or whoever has the read only access to a file. You're going to take away their ability to see changes to this file in real time. All right, now to make a folder in a team read only, you want to follow the exact same steps. So again, you can see here that I'm in the SharePoint site that serves as the back end for my Project X team. And this time I'll hover my cursor over the Project Documents folder. I'll click the three dots, the Show Actions button. I'll click Manage Access. And this time I will scroll down to the Members group and I will change this from Can Edit to Can View. You can see here that that change has been made and I'll click on the X to close out of this. And I've gone ahead and I've brought up the Microsoft Teams web app where I'm impersonating my colleague Diego. And you can see here that that project documents folder is now displaying as read only access. So that's it. In this tutorial, I showed you how you could make files and folders that are stored in a team read only for team members. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobelis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.